hello guys so welcome to the session with j boss so today i'm going to show you with how to work with uh, edit logs so this is a kind of log file uh, by default it will not going to get enabled so with this help you can track this uh, changes which is going to perform in your j boss so if you perform any configuration changes from the cli or from the admin console so those changes will get recorded into this uh, specific log file so that is called an edit log file so this this can be uh, in the form of uh, json format so this is what i'm going to show you now on this so so just go to the jboss and uh, let's start by default any jboss server okay just simple profile so this could be available in both uh, standalone and domain mode okay just go to the standalone and go to this configuration file so let me go into the default configuration profile so standalone.xml file so where you can see over here uh, around uh, line number 61 or something so this is audit log so by default so it is going to be false it is not gets enabled by default so for that case so this is the log file and this is located inside your data directory by default location so when you are trying to start any jboss server and uh, go to the data directory and uh, try to see that so EAP6 and the standalone and data so by default it is not gets enabled so for that case uh, let me enable this and it is gets and i would like to show you when i do any changes so how it is uh, showing so that's what uh, this main use of this log file so i just change it now if you see here now edit logs by default is the false now i make it as a true so now the first time so i'm trying to start my server and now see over here so it is going to check you this so edit log stuff okay so this is the audit log is generated now okay so this is audit log so this will be if you see the sample stuff in this so it will be in the form of uh, a json format okay so k and value uh, kind of stuff okay so, so let me close this let me show you with this uh, tail minus f so i'm going to change some configuration stuff in my jboss server so then how it is going to replicate it in this log file so if you see here nothing else configuration changes and this is a very small uh, topic and uh, so if it is good if it is enabled in your production server so that's what the, my intention so I'm trying to start uh, started my jboss and I connected the CLI so then now I'm going to change uh, some configuration changes so how it gets recorded over here if you see so I'm going to change the port okay so I'm going to change the port uh, socket binding is uh, HTTP so what is the port I think read so let me check the port then I'm going to change it okay so let me change by default directly okay so so I'm going to change this port of HTTP and the value is uh, 8280 something I give it save it okay so I'm going to change this port 8280 of my HTTP port okay then see this configuration how it is came so this is the right now the time uh, the changes and this is my jboss version and uh, this is the linux mission and what i'm done the changes the socket binding http i'm just return it the port 808280 okay so this is how it is gets recorded over here so the now if i go with from that bin console if you see from that bin console if i do the uh, kind of other kind of changes okay uh, like, uh, let's take an example to change the logs okay the log format uh, like uh, one mode to another mode if you change it and see this is a, a root logger so root logger uh, it is there in the error mode so let me take it into this info mode uh, info mode and just save it so this is my second changes so if you see this changes how it look like so this is the previous one which is done from the CLI and now this is the changes now which I'm done from the admin console so this is the user which I logged in from the admin console and this is the time and this is the where you uh, know my mission and this is uh you uh, know this is of my root logger i'm going to change this level into info mode so this is what the changes i'm done it so far i'm done it's the two changes so in the json format it will gonna show you this so make sure it is good uh, uh thing that you can be enabled this is in your protection okay so the same stuff you want to be performed in your uh, domain mode so this is standalone mode so any any profile if you take it this uh, example protection the local.xml the same stuff nothing else changes 
so same audit log over there by default is a false and this is the log if you want you can change it and the location also you can be you can change it out okay but where it comes to the domain mode uh, it will not be available inside your domain.xml file so this is the configuration so instead of domain.xml file this will be available inside your slave and source.xml file in the master so okay let me open this post slave.xml file and uh, so this is the uh, audit logs okay so over here it, uh, by default is the false again okay so that's all you have to be changed over here in the domain mode in the case okay so that's all on this session so this is how uh, audit logs is going to work so by default it is false so if you make it true then it is going to generate it instead of a data directory and if you perform any changes from the admin console or through the cli so the changes will get reflected over here and then but if you change something else and manually so okay so example i'm here i'm trying to change it uh, any configuration something so just open this and, and instead of true i can make it false in the manual this kind of changes recorded so the changes which you perform from the cli or from the admin console it is get recorded so that's what about this audit logs so that's all on this so then we will meet uh, the next session from the jboss eps chairman okay so thanks for watching this video we'll see you back thank you